Okay guys, I want to make a quick video to demonstrate to you um, the music effect that came out in 2016.21. Um, I've had a few challenges, uh, my video recording software keeps crashing so hopefully this is going to work. I'm going to do it in a few sort of small segments and splice them all together. Um, I've also found a bunch of bugs as well, so I've been fixing them as I go. So what you're seeing here is actually uh, the version will come out in 22, so I apologise for anything that doesn't actually work as advertised in 21. So what I wanted to do was start off by showing you um, uh, the VU meter of the spectrogram, which you should all be familiar with, hopefully by now you've played with it. Um, this is a spectrogram in its raw form where uh, I don't have the slowdown falls on, so you can see what is actually happening. Remember this is the frequency breakdown of the song, so each bar here represents a note um, on the scale and the height of the bar represents the intensity of that note that's being found in the music. Um, this is created from this waveform up here using what's known as a fast Fourier transform which is a mathematical transformation at a point in time and works out what the song actually looks like. Um, the beauty of it is is when you're, you're playing it you can see the notes leap up um, when they're played. Um, what I wanted to do was to, to take this data here and turn it into a bit of an effect. And so the concept is, is roughly this. If you imagine you draw a line across here and call that the sensitivity or the threshold, right? When the bar jumps above that threshold, I want it to trigger an event. I want something to happen and I want it to last as long as the note is above that threshold. Um, now in this case with the music effect you'll see a coloured bar that will dart across and it will all be broken up by frequency and you have control over which frequencies you use. Remember the spectrogram here starts at a start note, ends at an end note, these are the MIDI note numbers. Um, C4 which is also known as middle C is about is note number 60 so this is a bit below and a bit, be a bit above. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, switch to my effect, actually no I'm not, I'm going to surprise you with it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hi highlight this section and play this section of the song so you can see what it's like. Uh, watch what happens with the effect. Um, you should see when the notes are high you should see things happen to the right and when notes are low you should see things happen to the left. So let's get it going. So as you can see, uh, as the notes occur and the different frequencies occur, you see the notes, uh, the, the effect was triggering, which was causing some coloured bars to come out of the middle of the effect and go to the edges and fade. Um, and it's all based on um, that sensitivity and the notes going over it. If I was to make the sensitivity a lot higher, let's make it about 75 uh, and play it again, you'll see there's a lot less going on. almost nothing going on. <laughs> Let's go down a little bit, see if we can see a little bit more. Still not a lot going on there. Let's, let's lower it right down. Let's go something really low. Okay, you'll notice as it goes low, obviously the events take longer to occur and consequently the bars separate a lot slower and so you get almost a solid colour going on. Turns out that 50 is a pretty good number, at least for this song. Um, it seems to produce the right balance of not too much effect, but not too little either. Okay, so quickly going through some of these options, we talked about start note and end note and we've shown you sensitivity. Uh, Alright, so what are some of the other options? options here. Um, uh, let's start with bars. Uh, bars lets you control the number of bars that are broken up here. 
in this case it's, it's actually influenced by a couple of things one is is the number of bars which is set really high at 100 um, but you also have the notes which is between 41 and 90 which is actually only a range of 50 so this will actually only display a range of 50 uh, you can tell if you turn okay so if I, if I reduce this right down and I've taken the scale bars off you can see I've now only got eight colored bars here and it let's pump that sensitivity back up because it doesn't look very good at that low level all right so you can see now you can only see a handful of bars over here on the left and that's because um, uh, we've made the bars so small if we scale them you'll see eight bars spread out across the entire um, spectrum of the song um, so let's go back to the beginning uh, if you were putting this on a really large effect like a whole house model then the bigger bars are probably going to be um, useful to provide the sort of effect that you might want to have okay uh, so okay so we showed sorry we showed a small number let's get rid of scale bars and go back again oops get rid of scale bars okay it's just on the left there if you use the offset that lets you uh, move the effect over to the right further um, it allows you to control where on the effect that occurs that's kind of useful if you want to go and add another one and maybe you want to uh, we'll move this one back to the left choice parameter stick and we'll give this one an extra color so you can see it um, and maybe we'll give it a few more bars okay so you can see now you've got effectively two of these things going on at the same time one over the left here with different colors um, more bars and one over here on the right and that's just the two layers and using the offset so this one here is offset by 38 so 38 percent or something it's moved across and this one here it's on the left hand side so you can see the three colors there so that's the offset okay the offset the scale bars uh, we've shown that let's move it back up to a hundred Okay, would help if I had focus on it at the right time. We'll move it back to the left, and uh, that should be good. All right, now it should be all over. Yep. Okay. Uh, scaling notes independently. To be honest, uh, this this doesn't make a huge amount of difference in a quiet area of a song like this, where very little's going on if you scale notes independently it'll create a little bit more activity in the song than you would have seen without it um, really not much use it's one of those things you click it if you like it better keep it if you don't like it uh, I wouldn't really bother with it that much okay so a couple other things um, so I've shown you um, these color bars obviously you can add to the color you can add green if you'd like to uh, you can change the way the colors are rendered. You can cause the colors to blend together. Let's get rid of some of these things. I shouldn't have got rid of that though. Dang it. All right. So now you can see that as the colors occur, their colors are all blended together. So you get the green, red, and white all blended together, uh, as opposed to the distinct, which we were seeing earlier. And then there's a cycle and under the cycle uh, the first time a particular note triggers it's white and then it turns into red and the third time it triggers it goes green and so throughout the song progressively it becomes more disorganized with different colors uh, the fade just controls whether the effect fades over its duration um, so I kind of like it when it fades on um, let's put it back to distinct so let's quickly go through the types. You've obviously seen the separate one where the color starts in the middle and it separates outwards. Uh, there's a much more straightforward morph where it uh, starts at the bottom and, and goes to the top. If you'd like to change that around and have it come from the top to the bottom, 
uh, just go down here in the layer settings to the transformation and flip it vertical and now it will fall from the top it saves me having to implement a whole bunch of options over here to move it around uh, equally to be honest if you want to move it from the, the right you can change counterclockwise um, or clockwise if you want to bring it in from the left so no longer do I have to implement a whole bunch of complicated code inside my effect to make that work uh, Dan's uh, transformations are wonderful for that okay so that's the morph uh, there's a bounce which is to be honest is just the morph except after coming down it bounces back up when it triggers the second time and just keeps on bouncing backwards and forwards um, the collides the opposite of the separate the color bars start at the outside and they come together in the middle generally don't think that looks as good but there you go and finally there's the on and the on to be honest is much more like um, the piano uh, in fact I actually think this would look better with just the one color um, and it comes on and it fades away after each note is played uh, if you scale that out and reduce the number of them I reckon it could look pretty good still too many oh, take the white out okay that looks a bit better so now you're getting much more interesting colors going oh, sorry much more interesting fading effect uh, going on so uh, look that's a very uh, whirlwind tour through the the music effect like I said there's a few bugs in, in version 21 so it won't work exactly as advertised here um, but when 22 comes out in the next day or two I'm hoping that it'll solve uh, all those problems and uh, and have fun with it guys thanks bye